Since I just harvested um, castings from the Vermi Bag Max, which is uh, the African Nightcrawlers, I wanted to show. Um, well, I wanted to show my sifting process. <clears throat> All right, what I use is uh, a cup. This is a one cup scoop, and two sifting screens. This is the 1 8 inch and below it is the 1 12 inch screen. You can see that. There we go. Kind of. Hello. I'm trying to figure out where my camera, camera focus is at there. 1 12 screen. I also have a Put that in a bus bin. I have another bus bin to the side of me. And then up here, this is what I put everything that goes into or goes through the sieve and lands on the bottom. Actually lands, yeah, lands in the bottom. Um, goes through, goes in here, which is the finely sifted. There's no cocoons in it. The 1 12th inch. Uh, sifts out cocoons. Uh, so, this is pure castings from a variety of species, warm co composting species. And then here, I move it around on a an appliance dolly because it can get kind of heavy. This is <clears throat> my tub for African nightcrawler castings and babies, whatever falls through the uh, 1 8 inch goes in here. And in here, since there's cocoons and babies in here, um, I do have a bait cup that I use. I check it once a week. I just did it the other day, so anyway, bait cups are really good getting all the babies out and, you know, from any hatched cocoons. So, here's my process. I put it in here. I sift it out using two hands, of course, but I can't use two hands right now. I won't dump this out yet because I know I can sift it finer, but if it was all stuff that stayed here in the sifter, then I would dump it in here. This stuff would go in here. In fact, I'll just do that right there. And this stuff would go in the finely sifted right there. Okay, so I'm going to turn this off right now because I've got to use two hands to do this, and I'll be right back. All right, here's the results of sifting the vermicompost. Here's the rough stuff. I didn't bother to uh, break down any of the bigger clumps, which you may want to do, but it's okay with me. If there were any worms in here, I definitely would either use this uh, to start a new bin or uh, since there's no worms in here, I'm going to just uh, put it back into the Vermi Bag Max and uh, let the worms process it more. Um, what was left in, let's see, yeah, so that was on top of the 1 8 inch. What, fell through the 1 inch, 1 8 inch and into the 1 12th, was captured into the 1 12th, was put into here, which is where <coughs> um, cocoons and small babies fall through. So, like I said, it's in here, and I do have a bait cup for when the cocoons do hatch, um, or if you know, if I want to use it like this, it's fine as well. It's okay to use. 
And then the last, what went through the 1 8 inch, or 1 12th inch screen is pure Burmy compost. So, since I know there's no babies or cocoons in this, I do mix it with um, other casts, vermicompost, that have gone through the same process. So, this could be a mix of, you know, blue worms, red worms, Africans. Now that I have Europeans, it would go in here as well, as well as the swamp worms, um, and to be used on the soil as is or used as a vermi tea. All right, so I wanted to show you my processes. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention as well, I didn't have any worms, but if there were any worms um, in the vermi compost, make sure when you dump this back, dump this in to not let it sit before you sift it, otherwise, the worms will try to work their way down. They will get themselves enmeshed in the mesh screen, which in this case is steel, so they would get cut and injured. So take care of our worms here. They take care of us, so let's take care of them. All right, and that's the only precaution, I think. So um, appreciate your time, and thank you for coming on this journey with me. <laughs>